Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shah, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, It is Written of Me. Psalm 40 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. When we jump to verse 1, to the chief musician, a psalm of David, I waited patiently for the Lord, Yahweh, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. When we jump back to verse 7, it's evident that the Holy Spirit was upon King David, all right, which makes him a prophet, all right. Now, Psalm 40 and 7 states, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me, all right. This scripture is referring to Yahweh Shai, all right. When we analyze the term volume in the Hebrew is Strong's H4039 pronounced as Maglah and it means roll, book, writing. Also Esau removed another definition, all right, and that definition was total, okay? When we focus on the term volume, and my source was um, etimononline.com, volume is referring to a roll or something that is rolled, referring to the Holy Scriptures. All right. Prior to the Holy Scriptures becoming that book format it was written in roll version okay so then said I lo I come in the volume of the book it is written of me all right the holy scriptures is referring to or regarding Yahweh Shai and when you break down the volume of the book all right you have three segments the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament. All right? These segments is about Yahweh Shai. Point blank period. Psalm 40 and 7. And the book of Psalm is located where? In the Old Testament. All right? Let's jump to John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, which is Yahweh Shah, and the Word, which is Yahweh Shah, was with power, and the Word, Yahweh Shah, was power. Let's jump down to 14. And the Word, Yahweh Shah, was made flesh. How so? Through the union of Joseph and Mary, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The book of John is located in the New Testament. Let's go to the Apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon, 18 and 15. Thine almighty word, referring to Yahweh Shai, leap down from heaven out of thy royal throne as a fierce man of war into the midst of a land of destruction. All right. And this time frame is referring to our exodus out of Egypt. Okay. Also, wisdom of Solomon is located in the Apocrypha. And it states again, 18 and 15, Thy almighty word leap down from heaven out of thy royal throne. Which proves 
Psalm 110 and 1. A Psalm of David, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord Yahweh Shah, sit thou at my right hand. And when you go into right in the Hebrew, it means a place of honor and authority until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Isaiah 7 and 14. And the book of Isaiah is located in the Old Testament. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin, young maid, shall conceive and bear a son, and, sh and shall call him Salaki, and, sh and shall call his name Emmanuel. When you go into that term Emmanuel, it means the power is with us, referring to Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, Mary was going to conceive through sex, and her husband was Joseph, all right? And through this union, okay, you would have Yahweh Shai, all right? Matthew 1 and 21, and she, which is referring to Mary, shall bring forth a son, Yahweh Shai, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. And when you break down that term, Yahweh Shai, it means he is the savior or deliverer, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay? And Matthew is a book located in the New Testament. Now, let's go to the book of Numbers, which is located in the Old Testament. Numbers 24 and 17. I shall see him. Now, this is Balaam talking to the Moabite king named Balak. All right. Numbers 24 and 17. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. Referring to when he is enslaved in the kingdom of heaven, there shall come a star out of Jacob, and a cell tree shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of sheep. When we focus on that term star, in the Hebrew, Strong's H3556, pronounced as Kawakab and it means 1A of Messiah. All right. So another name, uh, so like another title for Yahweh Shah is the Messiah. All right. Point blank period. Let's go back to the Apocrypha. Second Ezra, chapter 7, 28. For my son Yahweh Shai shall be revealed with those that be with him. All right. And who are those that be with him? The angels and the prophets. All right. And they that remain shall rejoice within 400 years years, all right, and Ezra was on the scene 2,400 years ago, after these years shall my son Mashiach die, and all the men that have life, all right, so eventually Yahweh Shai, as well as the holy prophets, died, and the world shall be turned into the old silence seven days, why, because after these years shall my son Mashiach die, and all the men that have life, Referring to the truth, refer, referring to the word, okay? And the world shall be turned into the old silence seven days, meaning a complete time. This world was not going to have the truth, like as in the former judgments, so that no man shall remain. Remain where? Remain in the truth. And after seven days, the world that yet awaketh not shall be raised up, and that shall die that is corrupt, all right? And after seven days, the world that yet awaken not shall be raised up. And this happened around 1969, 1970, when Abba Bibbins, all right, uh, started pushing the word. 
And if you can receive this, he was John the Baptist, okay, in the form of reincarnation. Last scripture. Revelation 1 and 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified, signified it by his angel unto his servant John. And when you go into that term revelation, it means a disclosure of truth and a manifestation. All right. Referring to who? Referring to Yahweh Shah. All right. Hebrews. Slakia thought it was. No, I'm close. Tell you what. Let's just do it this way. Oh boy. Hebrews 10 and 7. Let's get in the, the letter. Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power. Let's see what volume is in the Greek. Okay. All right. Anyway, in a nutshell, the volume of the book is written... Uh, written about Yahweh Shai, okay, from the Old Testament, okay, the Apocrypha, as well as the New Testament, is in regards to Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson, Shalom.